Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a posterior subcapsular cataract with very soft nucleus. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. Now, 2% SPMC is injected into the anterior chamber. SPMC is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. And now, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And this is another side port on the right side of the main incision. Now, capsulorexis. I use a 26 case band needle to incise the anterior capsule and I raise a capsular tag. I hold this capsular tag with the uterator forceps and do the rexis. In this case, I am going to use IHANS, a new lens from Johnson & Johnson. Initial reports are good. The lens is monofocal, but its refractive index changes from periphery to center in such a way that the patient gets some intermediate vision, which is useful for working on computer. So this is a good lens. And now watch FECO aspiration. Just go bevel down into this anterior chamber and start aspirating the lens matter. No ultrasonic energy is required, just vacuum. I have used 450 vacuum to remove this lens matter. Now some visco is applied. In this case, I have asked for bimanual irrigation aspiration. I use the irrigation to hydrate the lens matter all around. And then I go through the side ports after hydrating all around. And now I start aspirating the lens matter. This bimanual irrigation aspiration is from Oatly. Beautiful design. I'm using Faro's from Oatly. Faro's has speed mode and whenever I use the speed mode the followability of the pieces increases. This is a small tag of cortex, it is removed. And now This is hydro polish. The posterior capsule can be polished very easily and very nicely by the irrigating probe itself. And this is very safe. Visco has been injected into the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and now here goes the intraocular lens IHANS from Johnson and Johnson previously about medical optics and now 
the visco is to be removed very nicely I'm using the twenty three cause simco for irrigating irrigating out the visco now I'm using the by manual irrigation aspiration first the irrigation only going behind the eye wheel and irrigating out most of the visco and now I go through the side ports is irrigation and aspiration for some time So the visco has been nicely removed. Now see, whenever the we use by manual, and if the side ports are small, then a lot of fluid comes out. Anti chamber becomes almost flat. So it is a good idea to inject a uh, air bubble and maintain the depth of the anterior chamber maintain the intraocular pressure now hydrate corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds and thus the side ports get closed and now I do a final a lavage of the anterior chamber the air bubble is removed antechamber is nicely formed and then the case is concluded Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.